Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here from Singapore and today I'd like to share in terms of how do we actually use Bluehost to help us to create our domain name and using it as a hosting platform and at the same time using the round cube which is within the cPanel to create our custom email address. This is a very important step when it comes to affiliate marketing if you wish to do email marketing per se. Alright, so without further ado, if you click on the link below this video, all right, you will reach my affiliate link to reach Bluehost, and this is how. Uh, sorry, this is the first page that you that you reach. So first thing first, go to hosting your site. Okay. Now, in case some of you guys are wondering, don't worry, we're not going to create any website per se. We are just going to make use of Bluehost as a hosting platform, and as well as getting our free domain name for the very first year. Okay. So you see that they are very. Uh, there are various different plans here. Go for the cheapest one, which is the basic. Okay, select it. Now, then they'll ask you to create a domain name. So effectively, what is a domain name? Is that URL that you see on top of your web browser, be it whether you are using Chrome or whether you are using uh, Firefox, you will see this particular URL at the top of your browser. Okay, so you're going to create a new domain name for yourself. And this is very important because you need to start branding your domain name. Okay, so in order to check availability, I go to this particular website called name.com and I search for availability. So for example, if I go for um, get it done, get it done.com. All right, and I hit the search button, you'll see that this particular web, this particular domain name is not available. But they give you an alternative, which is get it done dot reach. And it costs close to three thousand US dollars. Now, one thing please bear in mind when it comes to internet marketing, everything on the internet is generally ninety nine point nine nine percent based on USD. All right. So, uh, pertaining to where you're coming from, please do the necessary conversion for yourself. Okay. So, of course, we're not going to purchase this domain name. All right. So, we're going to use something which is work for yourself. Numero two dot com. All right. So this one is available on sale at just nine ninety nine. Now this is a per year basis per year, okay? And always choose a dot com extension. Don't use dot net dot io dot co or whatever. Use a dot com. All right. Now re the reason why I use work for yourself two dot com is because if I go for work for yourself dot com, it's more expensive. Oh, in fact, uh, it's, sorry, it's not even available. Okay, so I just put in a numeral two in front here. All right, and I search for it, and this is available. All right, so work for yourself two dot com nine ninety nine per year. All right, but we're not going to purchase here. We're going to go back to Bluehost, and we're going to type in this domain name work for yourself two dot com. This one. All right, then you click the click the next button. Okay, so same thing. It's available. Now put in all your information like your first name, last name. Uh, the business is optional, you can leave it blank. Place that you're staying, your full address, phone number, and your email address. Now, this is very, very important because every time when you log in to Bluehost, which you will do so very frequently if you're into email marketing, they will always send a token if you wish to approach their customer service support to this email address, to this particular email address. So, if you have multiple email addresses, please bear in mind the email address that you personally use. Okay? So the account plan for the hosting price is thirty five point four zero per year. All right, very cheap, less than three bucks per month. Now, however, if you look down, all right, if you scroll down, you see that Bluehost automatically check for you all these buttons. So what I will do is I will uncheck everything. Okay, turn it off, uncheck everything. If not, it's going to increase your price. You see, if I check back everything. Now it's going to cost one one nine per year. That's not what you need, all right? Just uncheck everything here. You don't really need them, okay? Now then, key in all your credit card information, expiry date, CVV two code, and from there, check I have read and agreed to the Bluehost auto renewal terms, and click the submit button, all right? So they will actually start processing your payment, and your domain is ready to use. Once it's ready to use. Log into Bluehost again, you will reach this particular platform. Alright, a platform that looks like this. Okay. So, what we need to do now is to actually create our custom email address using the domain name that we purchased. 
All right, so my domain name over here is saybuy925.com. This is the one, okay? So what is a custom email address? A custom email address will look something like support at saybuy925.com or I can put my name, benjamin at saybuy925.com. All right, so don't go to email and office. All right, don't go here. Scroll down to advanced, click on it. All right, then click on email accounts. Okay, this is where you're going to create your custom email address based on the domain name that you had actually purchased. So first thing first, you hit the create button here. All right, so you ask you which is the domain name that you wish to create this custom email address from. Some of them are actually sub domains, all right? Some of them are actually the primary domain. So how do you see that? Subdomain will be something like 12mas.saybuy925.com Now you see, saybuy925.com is my primary domain. I created a subdomain before which is 12 dot, uh, 12 mas alright? Uh, it stands for something else actually. Alright, so this is a primary domain, emailingsuccess.com, which belongs to me. Alright, or I can create a subdomain for saybuy925.com under emailingsuccess.saybuy925.com Okay, or this is another subdomain called finances.saybuy95.com. So depending on which is the subdomain you wish to use or the primary domain, to make things simple, let's go for the primary domain over here. Now the username, you can start keying in your uh, first name. Like for example, I will use Benjamin. Okay, sorry, all in small letters. Benjamin, all right. Or I can put support at saybuy95.com. Then you have to remember this particular password that you key in. After you've done everything, click the create button. Okay, and this email is ready to use. Like for example, these are some of the email addresses that I've created. All right, like Benjamin Go at saybuy95.com. This is the one that I use very frequently. Okay. So once you have actually created your custom email address within Bluehost, all right, that is where. We will move on to the next training in terms of how do we put this custom email address into your email autoresponder. All right. So what's the email autoresponder? We will talk about it more in details in the next few videos, whereby I will use two very common email autoresponders, which is GetResponse and Aweber to share with you more information on how do you actually start doing your email marketing campaigns. All right, guys. So this is a very short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to go to the link below this video here to actually start creating your very first custom domain with Bluehost. Take care.